Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, Spirit, I am looking at the 12th of May. I can't even believe it, you guys. May is flying by. We're going to be in summer here pretty soon. I want to go ahead and pull. I'm using the tea leaf cards today, so let's just see what they have to say. First one, we've got club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will, okay? So I've got these two cards up here, butterfly, a change for the better. The next card is basket, recognition, reward for merit. And Anything called to this one? Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Okay. And dog, protection from a powerful friend. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Oh, we got two here. We've got the egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. The next card came out was Vine. Seek out information that will help you. And one more spirit. Let's find out. Pineapple reconciliation. I always say follow the pineapples. That's always, since I moved to Hawaii, that was like my motto when I first got on this island was follow the pineapples. And so um, that's definitely a message for me. Uh, I do want to say that, you know, maybe for some of you, you need to follow the pineapples. Oh, and we got torch. So spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. For some of you, you are going to be working on a spiritual practice. So you could be working on, you know, maybe learning more about your psychic abilities. You could be, you know, looking into some type of a practice doing those types of things, you know. Um, and I feel like you definitely have protection from a higher power. Okay. And I feel like there's a lot of people who are, you know, they recognize you for your abilities as well. And, you know, sometimes a spiritual practice is you're a massage therapist, you know. But I do feel like where you can tune into a person's frequency and, you know, help them for the better. And some of you, you just need to tune into your own psychic abilities. And I feel like you're going to get a hell of a lot further. Someone here is holding a torch for you. Bottom of the deck, the staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. So for some of you who are afraid of, you know, the things that are going on, I feel like you're going to have a helping hand. You're going to have people here who are loyal and want to help you. You know, I almost see this club and the, to the torch as two different things. It's like you can either, you know, continue carrying around this club or you can start carrying around that light, you know, that torch. And I feel like you can turn a negative situation into a very positive situation, especially when I see the butterfly here. So I don't know what it is that some of you guys are going through because, you know, for each and every one of you guys, it's going to be something completely different. But I almost feel like the club and the torch are supposed to go together. Maybe someone here actually, um, you know, has a torch for someone else and they want to, um, you know, maybe try something new with you because we've got the egg right underneath the dark man. Um, and I feel like You know, a dog is a man's best friend, you know, and I feel like somebody here needs to see that. And then we've got the eye right next to that. So it's like they're keeping an eye on you. Someone's keeping an eye on you, but I don't feel like it's what you think it is. I don't think it's creepy at all. I feel like somebody's keeping an eye on you because they want they want to start something new with you. For some of you, you're starting something new. And the reason why you've been protected against this man, for some of you, you know, maybe you've been kept out of a relationship for a really long time. The reason being is because you needed to go off and start this practice. You needed to go off and start this business so that you would have what it takes um, 
to be in this relationship for those of you who are looking for love. There is someone here that you're reconciling with, okay? There is some type of somebody here um, who is going to be coming in, and this person is very wise. Okay, this is only going to be for a couple of you, but I'm really getting this message that I feel like, how do I want to say this, spirit? Male or female? You have a friend who has cast a spell around you and incubated you into this egg, okay, to keep you away from some type of dark powers, okay? This person is anybody who's trying to come at you with any type of negativity. I feel like this person is surrounding you and them with a pure white light, and that's what I see. That message is definitely, yeah, you will be taken care of in difficult times. That's what the staff is saying. So that was just a side note, okay, for those of you who, you know, work in the magic. Um, I feel like there's going to be a massive change when it comes to your career. I feel like you're going to start getting the recognition that you deserve. I feel like you're going from, it's almost like, you know, also like the cocoon to the butterfly, right? And it's helped you see things from a different solid foundation, success with efforts. That's what you guys are building on. You're building strong stability in your life right now. A lot of people are, and you know, it says forces working against you. Anything that's been working against you, trying to build this tower, I feel like is going to be gone by the month of August. I feel like it's going to be gone by the month of August. I genuinely feel like the universe is working on cutting things out. So Leo could be important, sun, moon rising, or the time of Leo, or even the time of uh, Virgo is at the end of September. So maybe there's a Virgo here. Pisces, Libra. Someone's coming in today. And for some of you, there's a man here who's going to help you out. And don't worry. Like, maybe a friend of a friend is coming to help you. And maybe you don't know this person. But just know that you're protected. Use your intuition. Just know that you're protected. I don't... That's only going to be for a few of you. Because I'm seeing this, this man and the protection... And, you know, a, a very loyal friend, a very powerful friend with psychic abilities. Again, something about, you know, you're in a protection bubble. A lot of psychic messages here, but it, we are on that new moon in Taurus. So I'm feeling a lot of like very, very, very psychic energy. I feel like someone's coming in and they have a gift for you. Maybe there's a gift for this, this man here or a gift from this man. I do feel like you could be possibly um, like starting something new with this man. It could be some type of work. I feel like this man is very connected. Connected to spirit, connected to Mother Gaia. Especially when I see the vines here and the egg. I feel like they're, and then you have the pineapple. So it's about growing something. Could be gardening. For some of you, it's gardening. That's what I'm getting. So, spirit. Shield. You need to defend yourself. For some of you, maybe. Especially with people that you're trying to cut off right now. Lily, spiritual love. I feel like there is a very spiritual connection that is happening here. 
um, vase, secret admirer. Okay, there's a secret admirer. It's a spiritual love. I feel like maybe this dark man, for those of you ladies, or maybe some of you ladies are looking at this darker man, darker haired man. Okay, there's something here about a darker haired man, dark skinned man, dark complexion is what it says, or hair. Doesn't always have to be darker. I'm not playing into that whole thing. Um, but I feel like this person, look at it, what would you do? You'd want to put those, those flowers in the vase, right? It's not a coincidence that the lily and then the vase came out. <coughs> but I feel like somebody here is trying to protect themselves. They're shielding themselves off. So it's almost like I said, I feel like this person is watching you from afar, watching you on social media, watching you, um, Succeed. I just got succeed. When I see the butterfly and then the recognition, you're they're watching you and you're how successful you're becoming. Or maybe this birthday has a uh, person has a birthday in August or there's something important. There's a per important time in August. Hmm. A sincere wish will be granted needle and thread. But just try not to be delusional. I mean, I could go on all day, but it, I feel like, honestly, you guys, <clears throat> this is about education. I feel like there's some type of education here as well. And maybe you're going to be coming together with somebody to learn something new. But it's building a solid foundation in these partnerships. For some of you, maybe you're having pineapple for dinner, or maybe you need to have a pineapple. <laughs> I just saw it was where someone here goes out for ice cream. Maybe you get an ice cream cone today, or a drumstick. Somebody could definitely be coming in with some type of a gift basket for someone. But the butterfly here, you guys, is about transformation. I really feel, look at, I see the dog, look, look at this. I see it like this. I feel like if this is a relationship and where somebody has a crush, it's like, see the flower up here with the butterfly and then you've got the vines down here. It's almost like the dog is in the balance of the vines, you know, and maybe there's a flower. So it's like, for some of you, maybe... You know, be careful. You know, I don't want to scare anybody, but just be mindful of dogs like in the in the bushes, like lying in wait. I almost feel like. But for some of you, it's this man. This man is like kind of in the background, like kind of hiding away, you know? And I feel like, you know, they could just be again. I don't want to say that it's a creepy thing, because I'm not seeing this as a creepy thing. I'm seeing this as a very sincere secret admirer. Very sincere. Look, we've got secret admirer there. And maybe for some of you, this is your business. This is like a business that you're doing and somebody is admiring what you're putting in, whether it's relationship or not. Spirit, please show me May 12th. What messages, what guidance do they need for this? Okay, energy. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You definitely have a friend who is here to protect you and is here to help you. So um, I feel like, you know, getting together with your friends and I feel like building something as well with your friends. Maybe for some of you, you and a friend or you and friends, because it does say friends, plural, uh, are going into business together. Maybe growing a business, especially with the pineapples. It goes from the egg to the vine and the flower to the pineapple. Passion. There it is. You guys are working on your passions. For some of you, you're working on your passion projects. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Whoop, there it is. Okay. I did not mean to do that, you guys. <laughs> Well, take me back, but somebody needed to hear that. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So yeah, get back, get back into your passion projects. For some of you, pay attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you, especially here with the club and needing to protect yourself, needing to defend yourself. So for some of you, you know, pay attention to the signs. Um, also, you know, pay attention to the signs of the things that you're passionate about. You know, pay attention to the signs that the universe is giving 
leading you and kind of trying to point you in your right direction. Remember, I, for those of you that have been following me for a long time, I keep telling you that the universe is trying to, you know, gift you the baton for some of you. You feel like you're getting a shitty baton. For others of you, you feel like, you know, this is what you've always been wanting. It's just not coming up in the package that you've always wanted it in. For some of you, you know, it's about a relationship, you know. Maybe you had your eyes set on someone and then all of a sudden somebody else piqued your interest, but because it's not showing up in the packaging that you're used to, you're talking yourself away. For some of you, I don't know, maybe for some of someone here works at a, um, a bee sanctuary. There's something here about a bee sanctuary. I'm just, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I really am. I, well, of course, with all these flowers, thank you, spirit, all these flowers, and then her wearing that bee suit. I just feel like love does not have to hurt. And I feel like, but also see how she can like close that curtain. That's what I'm getting. Remember earlier when I was talking about like somebody's lingering in the background and they're kind of like hiding. She looks like she could, if she flipped that back around, she could be a lampshade, <laughs> you know? Um, so keep that in mind. I do feel like you're being watched. Okay. Um, like I said, use your intuition. I don't, I feel like you're protected though, no matter what is going on here today. All in all, you guys, this is a really, really cool reading. You know, um, let me go ahead and let's get you one more card. Since we're doing something different today, let's do the Quantum Oracle. One more card, Spirit, for the collective for this reading. There it is. What did we get? Oh my God, look, you guys, intuition and manifestation. Listen, it's got psychic abilities here. We've got reconciliation here. We've got protection from a powerful friend here. Remember earlier when I was saying, I feel like someone here is doing magic and I don't feel like it's naughty magic um, for some of you, you know, but I just, be, I, I, I just feel like if anybody, anybody is trying to put any dark magic on anybody, I feel like you're protected. Also, you know what? I think for some of you, it's time for you to reach out and schedule a reading as well. Schedule a reading with the psychic. There is somebody here that spirit is trying to send to you. Number three, communications. Um, and also the number three uh, is the, high, the empress. The empress is about fertility and abundance and motherhood and growth. And we definitely see, you know, here's the egg here. So for some of you, definitely finding out that you're pregnant. For some of you, you're birthing into existence, you know, a brand new idea, a brand new um, business, uh, you know, relationship. It could be any one of those things. Again, everybody's on a different timeline. So intuition and manifestations. A woman looks at a beautiful crystal ball on a velvet covered table. The orb reflects the light of the room and is su surrounded by the light of spirit. Yet we can see a misty image in the center. The message here is that your future potential is available to you now both to see and to change. The more you learn to trust your intuition, the more you will be able to know what is down the road for you. Not only that, you'll be able to get flashes of insight about what you need to do now to forge the future you desire. This card upright is telling you that you have the clarity to create the vision of what you want and the energetic ability to make it real. You have the power of manifestation and it's time to take that seriously. Also, if you've been thinking of developing a career or an avocation in the art of mediumship or oracle readings, this card is giving you the green light. Your intuitive powers are expanding, so open up to the message that you are so clearly able to receive. And I just got for some of you, maybe you are watching someone, you know, maybe you're, it could be this. You could be watching my YouTube channel, getting insights from a psychic as well, or actually, you know, going out and getting readings from a psychic. Obviously, a personal reading is always going to be much better. But for some of you, um, the month of August is going to be very important for a lot of you. So keep that in mind, you guys. Anyway, all in all, you, you know what? This is a really beautiful reading. Uh, I want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. You guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Anyway, you guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.